Y'all, this is a mess. I mean, a whole mess. Marjorie Hot Girl Harvey, okay? Strong emphasis on the hot girl has filed for divorce after she got caught up with not just Steve's security, but his chef. Honey, you can't make up stuff like this. So here it is, Mr. Think Like a Man, Act Like a Woman. Had a woman who was definitely thinking like a man, <laughs> a, a player at that, because this is pimping at his finest. Like, how do you let her be the one to beat you to file for divorce? And she been in here letting everybody play patty cake. Oh, baby. Um, just wow. And it, it takes me back to the videos that I used to see on YouTube where um, his ex-wife talked about how he pretty much left her with nothing. He took, you know, the properties, the house that was left to her, gave it to somebody else. She ended up ass out. Like, he left his wife, I want to say, I'm going to say allegedly, I, I believe he left his wife for Marjorie. wife and children and if I'm not mistaken somebody please correct me if I'm mistaken I believe his wife was with child or had just had a child his second wife and now look and this could be total speculation because you know the Internet is great for that, but it it's speculated that she's looking for four hundred million in the divorce. I was flabbergasted when I read that across my screen because it's like you you know. You doing the most, and you want to leave with the most, too. So, now that we got that out the way, let's tap into the divorce rumor energy and what's to come. Because when I say, baby, this is a mess, ooh, this is a whole mess. Give me the energy around the filing for divorce. Knight of Swords, Six of Wands. So, Knight of Swords is coming in with the message swiftly. Six of Wands is like, okay, off victoriously. So, this could have came out of nowhere. Like, he could have been blindsided with this information. Um... And when I say blindsided, either he found out right, right before we did or he found out with us. Moving forward after these secrets, <laughs> the moon, ain't that about nothing? See, my spirit guides is messy because they knew when I picked up these cards and talking about the secrets. Look at this. One, two. Here she is. One, two. So you secretly was dealing with these two different you know, situations. Allegedly. That's what the rumors say. And it brought judgment, aka karma, through a very, very nasty betrayal. Ten of Swords. So, 
Just wow. And this was a wish fulfillment for this empress who decided to take a leap of faith. Like, this is literally like just waking up one morning and saying, you know what? I, I didn't had enough. I didn't did enough. I think I need to just go ahead and move along. And, and this swiftly. Just hold on, y'all. Let me let me sip some wine. Cause who? Knight of Pentacles. Who we? So it could come out that. It is a possibility that finances could be moving a little slow for Steve as of lately. And this is not to say that he is not making money or he is running out of money or broke or anything like that. It's just the opportunities are coming in are not the same or not of the same caliber. Y'all, when I say a whole mess, I don't just read what hits the table. I read as I shuffle. Look at that. The lovers and the two of swords. So <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to laugh, but the petty bone in me is strong. Y'all, this feels like somebody who decided to have a exit strategy an evacuation plan in case you know how they do fire drills at school or at your job so that you can be prepared on how to leave the building when the actual fire comes this this is what this feels like she she had been preparing all this time for the moment when things slowed down and it's like i'm gonna get it while the getting is good i ain't about to let you run out of money i ain't about to let you know whatever is supposed to happen, happen, and dry up how I'm accustomed to living. So if allegedly something is coming down the pike, I'm taking mine off the top. You know, I'll take the hundreds and the fifties off the top and you can keep the, the ones at the bottom. Lord. Six of Cups. Okay, that's that throwback energy from the past. Possibly talking to somebody that she used to talk to from the past. Moving forward swiftly and victoriously now that this cycle has come to an end. And due to this judgment, it was like a choice had to be made due to this judgment. Or like the judgment in court. Yeah. Yeah. Nine of Cups, Four of uh, Swords. This wish fulfillment is coming to a rest. I mean, it's, it's almost like she feels like his momentum is slowing down. He's not going to be able to keep up for so much longer. So she wants hers right now. And he could do whatever he going to do because she, she doesn't want to go back to an ordinary, regular life, allegedly. My neighbor's dogs would be doing the most right now. Wish fulfillment, eight of pentacles. So I keep saying it's like something has to do with work. Uh, King of Swords. King of Swords is a very analytical person. This is a businessman. This is someone who is more in their... Um, head, you know, head over heart type person. So logically, she's like, you know, <laughs> oh, my spirit guy's petty. They're, they're uh, playing in my head. They have me channeling. Um, What's that song? Ain't nothing going on but the rent. Gotta have a J-O-B if you want to be with me. Because a fly girl like me needs security. 
nothing from nothing leads to nothing. You got to have something if you want to be with me because life is mysterious. What is th what'd you say? What is that? Love is mysterious. However that, that part go, the beginning of the chorus. But she she's thinking about her stability. And if stuff is going to slow up for you and you can't afford to keep this gravy train going, she's going to get off right now. She's going to take her half off the top and, you know, hey, I wish you well. Um, damn it. I know he feels like, you know, karma is kicking him in the ass right about now with that think like a man, act like a woman, because this is exactly what this is. She's literally thinking head over heart in masculine energy the if toxic masculinity could be wrapped up in a beautiful woman this is what this is king of pentacles see how the king of pentacles falls under the empress and it's like um A king to an empress is no match because an empress is above a king. A king would have to graduate into being an emperor. So she feels like he can't keep up with her motion. You know, it was good while it lasted, but she's got to consider her options, allegedly. Five of Cups. This leap of faith, this um, swift decision brings a lot of heartbreak and regret. I would hate to know that she said something like this to him because the King of Swords is not someone who is comforting. This is a I said what I said card. So it would be really messed up to find out that how he even found out that she was, you know, laying it low and spreading it wide was her telling him everything. And, you know, like, look, I don't want to be bothered no more. I don't want to be in this situation. I'm not happy. I haven't been happy in a long time. You're not even home. We don't really spend time like that. You're not even spending money on me the way you used to. I mean, I got to get out here and get it on my own. This feels like somebody who's even cutthroat enough to allegedly tell you you're not pleasing them. So this is why they did what they did. Like, that's real messed up. Not I was in my, my whole energy. I was in my hot girl summer type energy. It's your fault because you didn't fulfill me. So that's why I did X, Y, Z. Allegedly. Baby, if his ex-wife ain't somewhere being vindicated right now, because that woman went through a lot, dragged through the court, gag order, sued for speaking. Uh, what's the lady who... Um, was interviewing her, Essie Berry, like Essie Berry was going through a lot for helping to tell her story. And now look. Ooh, Marjorie Hot Girl Harvey. Tell you what though, she a cold piece of work. She know how to play it. And it ain't like she been lying about it because <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. <laughs> oh, wait. Marjorie, are you leaving him for somebody who money don't move like his, but they got that good juke, though? They got that, that good stroke? So now you ready to be a sugar mama? Because... 
that's what that feels like right there. I mean, I could be wrong. This is, you know, for entertainment purposes only and all shits and giggles. Nothing I say can be proven because this is a metaphysical science and metaphysical sciences cannot be proven as of yet. But this is definitely a woman that is highly into masculine energy. And it would be very masculine to rescue a damsel in distress. And provide them a new life. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Oh, I'm back. Ooh, don't tell me it's a personal trainer. Don't tell me, don't tell me. King of Wands. Okay, so this falls under the, the Knight of Swords, the Six of Cups. Somebody's taking action. That goes back to that dealing with the person from the past. You know, being defensive now that this situation has come to a rest. And like I said, this came about swiftly. That my, my spirit got so petty. Um, I'm channeling... Um, the Migos fight night. <laughs> this literally came out of nowhere. Like this information was like hit them with the left, hit them with the right. This this was the this was a rope of dope. I don't think Steve seen this coming. That's messed up. The independent woman. She becomes the independent woman after moving forward towards victory. This cycle comes to an end, and now she's the independent woman. The independent woman is literally one pentacle away from having the ten of pentacles, which is having everything. Oh, my God. So, Steve, you didn't get a prenup after the last two marriages you had failed and after you decided to marry a woman who dated because i believe this is what the story is she dated two cousins first cousins at that i ain't gonna even lie that's not that's not smart at all judgment after this decision He's going to feel like he literally been duct tape and tied to the railroad tracks. Like she's going to, she's going to take him for damn near everything he's got. At least try. At least try. Allegedly. Yeah, you see this decision is her ships coming in. Three of Wands. Look what finally came out. It's a wish fulfillment attached to this Eight of Pentacles that leads to somebody being stabbed in the back. Is this somebody he's working with or somebody he's worked with? Because this feels very close. And I'm not just talking about like the security guard and the chef. Like that was close as hell because that's your right hand man who right there with you every day and the person who feeds you. Like that's already close. But this is, who Lord, talking about playing in the devil's playground. Marjorie, you a cold piece of work, ma'am. Princess of Wands and the Four of Wands. So this is like she's locked in stability for her and her children, her daughters. I keep hearing in my head, if you could do it, I could do it too, but I could do it better than you. What did he get caught doing? Five of cups. You got the full five of cups and justice. 
So being at a five of cups falls over justice. That's deep regret, um, humiliation, sorrow. She could have evidence allegedly of him cheating with a younger girl that he was giving stability to. And she figured if he could do it, then she could do it too. But she could do it better than he could do it. This is feeling like you might have one up on me, but I'm going to take the house. This is like playing poker and you won one hand, but the person you're playing against ends up taking the house. They, they clear the table. You know, ooh we eight of swords, eight of wands. So this is like being, you know, locked into a commitment, being trapped, being uh, bound to something, and boom, out of nowhere, being free. She could have a much younger man. And, and that's where I keep feeling like this petty energy of, if you could do it, then I can do it too, but I can do it better than you. If it comes out that she got her a young man with a strong back, I promise you on everything, I need to not be on the camera because I will go sideways and fall out this chair laughing. Can't even lie to you. Because it's, I mean, it's, it's very messed up, but it's like, damn. You, you got to respect her pimping. I mean, I wouldn't do any of this. But it's not like she's hid who she was from the very beginning. She's kept it player from the very beginning. She's been a hot girl from the very beginning. She didn't come out of nowhere and start displaying tendencies. She's always been this chick. She's always been a hot commodity. She's always been the type of chick that bent corners. So he can't say that he didn't know that she had a propensity for any of this because she's never, ever, ever hid any of her energy or her past. So it's, it's kind of hard to feel sorry in a situation like this because this Hefe never lied or covered up any of her indiscretions or her lifestyle choices, like she been getting on and getting over on guys her whole adult life. And she's got a training camp. Her daughter has learned very well. So we, I ain't gonna make this reading too long because I don't know how much further I can go reading this energy without literally falling over on this table laughing because if karma comes back to bite was a situation it would be this right here um you know what just for shits and giggles let's tap into how does steve's ex-wife feel about this energy Four of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Look at this, the bottom of the deck. Tower. So, this is like, you know, third party energy. Okay? This we were stable, we had this good life, this third party energy came in and caused this tower. Now remember, like I said, when he left his wife, he left his wife for Marjorie. Marjorie was a third party. Three of Wands in reverse. That's like you thought you had a better opportunity 
and found out it was the Titanic. Roll, roll, roll your boat roughly down this stream. Look what just came out. The tower. Bottom of the deck. Death. And I'm going to end it on that. Because what that feels like to me is literally, that's what the fuck you get. And it's just, it's you know, you never want to see somebody take an L this hard. But sometimes you got to swallow a very very hard pill and choke on it so that you can get the lessons that you need to get out of life and that that pill was reality i mean the only thing i could think of is there would be no hot girl culture without Chicks like Marjorie, who led the way. She show enough walk so everybody can run in that culture today. So I'm going to wrap this up and call this reading done. Whew, I started off with saying that this was messy, and it surely, surely is. Um, just damn. I don't even want to tap into Steve's energy on this reading because I definitely could understand him feeling distraught, betrayed, and exhausted. And hopefully he thinks back to the things that he's done in the past and he makes you know, a proper atonement for that energy. Because when you don't fix the things that you've done, you don't right your wrongs, the universe will do it for you. And it looked like in this situation, it did so in grand fashion. Man, this is messed up. But I'm going to call this, you know, a wrap. And this reading is adjourned. Have a great evening, everybody. Happy Sunday.